Upon launch of Waggle Configurator for Mac OS X, you'll be prompted by this initial connection screen. Here you can choose which network adapter on your machine you would like to use to connect with the Waggle Pro Commander or Pro IO device. Additionally, you can select a serial or USB connection if your device allows. Please note that Waggle USB Direct Connections can allow for a driverless setup on a Mac OS X system. DB9 serial connections require an adapter, which may or may not require additional drivers. We recommend, however, for the most functionality and fastest, most stable firmware update that you use a hardwired network connection where possible. In this case, you'll see that my Pro Commander target is 10.00.101. In this case, I would want to set my computer's IP address to a similar IP that is not exactly the same. For example, I set a static IP of 10.00.120. If I scan using network and begin by hitting the scan button with this network adapter, you'll see that I get the Pro Commander 2 as shown here. Upon double clicking on the Pro Commander or Pro IO device you found and selected, you're prompted by this hardware network screen that gives you basic overview configuration of your device. This varies and scales based on the device you are actually connected to. A Pro Commander LX would have more options, for example, than a Pro Commander 2. In this case, we can set the IP address, the subnet mask, the port connections, and the daisy chain mode and baud rate. Daisy chain modes are designed for the connection of Pro.io devices, Waggle targeting systems, and certain motor control protocols over the WebNet in and WebNet out ports. While these settings also exist under the serial port tab, which we'll come back to later, you can do quick rapid conf configuration of a network from the front network ports or the rear RS-232 serial port where available. Moving on to the show control tab, I'm able to view what's on my card by hitting get show list. In this case, I have no shows. And I can also view currently running shows. Again, in this case, all shows are stopped. From this window, if I had 10 shows, for example, I could start any of those 10 shows in either add or terminate mode based on the actual device I'm using. Some devices can handle up to 22 running shows at any given time, while others have somewhat less. Stopping all running shows will get me back to a RSE0 type configuration where no shows are running. The audio tab will also vary greatly by device. Volume, bass, treble, and amplifier gain can be controlled from this window. Again, an LX would have eight of these configuration windows, while a Pro Commander PHX would have additional settings for polyphonic routing and overlap. The DMX control tab has settings for the DMX merger, settings of LTP, HTP, change status, add status, combine status, or show slash card priority. For more information on this, please see our manual for the Pro Commander 2 or Pro Commander LX. We also have frame rate and byte delay settings for problematic motion control or lighting systems. DMX read-in settings, which allows the Pro Commander or Pro IO to act as a slave to a DMX or ArtNet system, and DMX test adjust sliders. By typing in the value of that DMX channel and moving the slider, I can get instant access to that DMX output. If your device has input and outputs of the digital or analog nature, you could monitor and test these outputs and inputs from this location. As I click on each of these devices, I will find that my outputs on the Pro Commander or Pro IO are activated. I can instantly clear all these outputs as necessary. If your device is equipped with analog or servo outputs, I can set my minimum and my maximum for that device output from this window in real time. By moving the slider, I can get to the device value for inputs, or for, sorry, for minimum and for maximum, and simply click on this to get it to actually reflect that scale. If you have data coming from the card, Conductor Pro, Venue Magic, or any other software, this will be scaled proportionally from zero being 2300 to 100% being 87 on the fly in real time. To reset these, I can simply move them to zero and 100 and hit set min, set max. 
the invert checkbox will invert this at a hard code level so that zero is 100 and 100 is zero. This is stored in the EEPROM of the Pro Commander or Pro IO device. Inputs, as shown here, will display any of the digital inputs as they come in in real time. Real time analog monitoring is not currently available in Waggle Hardware Configurator for any platform. Should your device have SMPTE timecode input, checking this enable timecode will read any inbound timecode signal that is available to the device. Please note that Waggle PHX and LX devices do have built in timecode readers, whereas Pro Commander 2 requires additional hardware. The Serial Ports tab also scales by device. The Pro Commander ES does not have serial ports, while the Pro Commander LTC has up to eight. The Serial Driver mode is access to any of the Waggle serial device drivers that are available. Nanotech, Dynamixel, IAI, RS-485 General, and the Waggle Interactive Targeting System are some examples. Please note that most drivers also require you setting this baud rate appropriately. If you do not find your baud rate here, you can also type this in by hand in the uh, Waggle Council command control here. Variables are available on all Pro Commander devices as well as the Pro IO remote. To access variables, clicking on the variable tab and selecting monitor variables will provide you an update every one second as to the status of any variable in the system. By default, the variables are numbered 1 through 100, with 1 through 70 being RAM variables reset to zero on power cycle, and 71 through 100 as EEPROM variables, which are stored indefinitely. Additionally, for troubleshooting, you can check the load titles from variable and provide on the SD card of the Pro Commander device a CSV file that actually links your variable numbers to actual real name variable titles. This is useful for troubleshooting without having to refer back to an external number chart. Finally, if we go back to the Show Controls tab, we've noticed that now our available shows have populated, which I can refresh by hitting Get Show List. In this case, there are no shows. If I put in my SD card and recycle, uh, now I actually have 1 through 10 and a default look around show. You'll see here that in real time I can see the status of the show, and if I have a device capable of playing more than one show, I can add additional shows on top of this simply by adding the show number and pressing the add button. I can interrupt these at any time by selecting a new show and hitting terminate. This will terminate all other running shows and just give me the available uh, terminate scripts number here, which was number 10, to fire uh, and interrupt again any, all, any and all running shows. By pressing stop running shows, I will completely terminate this until any logic condition supersedes it. In this case, on the card, I have a keep alive that says every 10 seconds or 20 seconds uh, to restart this look around show. To update the firmware on any Pro Commander or Pro IO device, you must be connected over hardwire network connection. Clicking update firmware prompts me with this file selection window and grays out any file that is not available for firmware update on this particular device. As you can see, this is a Pro Commander 2, and so my only available option would be a Pro Commander 2 version 2.00 hex. Selecting this file opens it and prompts me for a begin update selection. If I press this, communication with the Pro Commander is handled, and my firmware update, update begins. Should this fail at any time, please follow the prompts on the screen as well as the Pro Commander LCD display. An average firmware update may take between 30 seconds and 2 minutes. Do not interrupt power or close this window during the firmware update. Doing so could damage the internal bootloader. Once the update has been sent to the Pro Commander, it will verify this update prior to applying it and or give you an error message saying this is an incompatible update. At any time on any Waggle Pro IO or Pro Commander device, you can retrograde the firmware down as well as upgrade the firmware forward. And in this case, the firmware update was complete 
And I usually want to check this to make sure that the number I added is the number that is now the current version. In this case, it was 2.0, and previously you would have noticed it was 2.17. Finally, let's revisit connecting to a Pro Commander or Pro IO device over Serial. Back at this window, you'll notice that I could select a serial or network adapter and scan across that entire bus. I found over serial, which in this case is actually a direct USB connection from my Mac to my Pro Commander 2, and selecting this does create a connection over the USB port. As mentioned earlier, most Pro Commander and Pro IO devices in conjunction with an up-to-date Mac OS X computer do not require any drivers to perform this operation. This is particularly useful on a Pro, Pro IO device versus a Pro Commander where there are no onboard hardware controls to set the IP address. Connecting over USB allows you a direct path to change the IP, subnet, or port so that you can see the device from your Mac without actually changing the network configuration. For example, if my Mac was in the 192.168 range, I could easily change this over IP, or sorry, over USB before having to make an IP connection. You will notice, however, that some devices do not support every function over serial. Most of these are limited to real-time reporting, such as the Show Controls tab, the SMPTE tab, and the Variables tab. For these functions, you will need to be connected over network to see these options activate. However, the majority of the primary setup and test and adjust options are available uh, over this USB or serial connection. This concludes the tutorial for Wagle Configurator for Mac OS X. For additional questions, please visit faq.wagle.support or email us for additional information.